drivers of the earliest cars had only goggles to shield them. So to protect people from the elements, glass windscreens were invented in 1904. But there was a danger. They would shatter on impact, injuring people. Glass lamination solved the problem. It was shatterproof. A real scientific breakthrough. To make a windscreen, production begins with a plain sheet of glass. An automated plotter moves a cutting wheel over it and the wheel scores the glass. Now, a robotic arm brandishes a torch. It moves along the score line and the thermal shock completes the cut. It's the best way to cut cleanly through glass. Next, a robot picks up the cut piece of glass and transfers it to the next station, where it pushes the glass against a series of sanding belts. This takes off the sharp edges. It's called seaming. Now, a conveyor belt takes the glass through some soapy water to clean it up. Then nozzles spray the glass with a mix of talcum powder and water. This will prevent it from sticking to a second sheet of glass. A robot now sets that second piece of glass on top of the freshly sprayed one. The two sheets are layered for processing, but will be pulled apart later. Next, black paint is silk screened around the border of the glass that will eventually be the inner part of the windscreen. Then, automated arms carry the glass to a station where samples are inspected visually. After that, rollers transfer the glass to automatic squaring pucks, which position them. And then a robot lifts the sheets and carries them to four metal pins. The pins recede and the glass falls onto a bending iron. The iron is in the shape of a specific windscreen. The conveyor takes the bending iron with the two glass sheets into an oven called a bending layer. The layer heats the glass sheets to 750 degrees Celsius, causing the glass to sink into the shape of the bending iron. Then the glass goes through a slow cooling cycle to toughen the new shape. Next, a robot picks up a sheet of vinyl cut in the shape of a windscreen. It takes the vinyl sheet to one of the newly shaped pieces of glass just separated from the other piece. Then another robot lowers the other identical piece of glass onto the vinyl. And that's the formula for glass lamination. Two layers of glass with a piece of vinyl between them. In the event of an accident, the windscreen will fracture but not shatter because the vinyl will hold most of the broken glass together. But at this point, there's no clear view through that milky white vinyl. That's why the windscreen is headed to a machine called a nipper. The nipper presses the windscreen between a series of rubber rollers, squeezing out air pockets in it. As the air is removed, the view through the vinyl becomes clearer. Now, squaring pucks position the windscreen and a robot sticks brackets for the rear view mirror onto it. This big blue chamber is an autoclave. It's like a pressure cooker. It removes any remaining air pockets in the windscreen. A rail system transports the tub full of windscreens to the inspection station. Here, each windscreen undergoes a close-up inspection. It's searched for scratches, chips, or any contamination between the glass and vinyl layers. Now, a two and a quarter kilogram steel ball is placed into a pulley system that raises it four meters high. This is a crash test for a sample windscreen. The ball represents a driver's head. The ball hits the glass but doesn't go through, which means the windscreen has passed this safety test. Now the windscreen is viewed through polarized light which reveals stress defects. Once it's decided that everything looks good, the windscreen is ready for the road. And the view from the driver's seat is now as clear as glass.
up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.